Hi guys, here's a guide on how to get StarCraft 2 to run on 4K at more than 100 and well, at more than 60 FPS. Because apparently, there's a guy that has even a 4090, which is better than what I have, and is not able to get above 60 FPS. And I tried a lot of things, and then finally, I found out that if you lower the resolution, your frame rate goes up. And there's something that stops StarCraft 2 from fully utilizing the GPU and CPU uh, when you're at 4K. I don't know what it is, uh, but here's the fix. You have to go to uh, search DXVK on GitHub. You can see it here. Um, and then you get the latest version or you can try the one that I'm using now, 2.4.1, and you download this thing, okay? Then you're gonna get this star.jz thing that you download that you're gonna extract it. Then you get a folder, you're gonna extract the tar, and then you're gonna get this. Then you go in X64, if you're on StarCraft in X64, which I think you should, unless you know better, then you can do that. Um, every time there's a StarCraft update, you, it keeps a bunch of versions here in case you want to watch a replay with an old version of StarCraft. And you're usually going to be running with X64. You can check that by opening the file location on, from Task Manager when you run StarCraft. You're going to want to take the D3, D9 point DLL and put it in here. Uh, I tried this with another game with, I think it was D3, D11, but it didn't work for some reason. So anyway, you're going to open, um, actually it's because I didn't create, okay, anyway, let, let's stay on topic. So in StarCraft, you're going to want to create this file here, which uh, you can find in this Reddit thread, how to literally triple your FPS in SC2. Hopefully it doesn't get deleted because of Reddit. Uh, so you just copy this, you give a .conf uh, extension to the file. And then you, there's a bit of a harder part, you have to go in environment variables. So I'm just going to go to Windows settings and I think it's dxvk whoops uh, environment if I write it right okay you want to go system not account I mean you could try account but this is what I know works and then you go to environment variables at the bottom and then you go to at the bottom here system variables and then you create new and you type in the dxvk config file like he says here and then you give it a name to the uh, directory where you put the stuff i put it in other stuff vulcan translator and it should have the config here so now you have two things right you have this thing done in in windows you have the D3, D9, DLL in where your StarCraft executable is that you find by doing Task Manager or just taking the last version. And then you have the config file in the directory that you pointed to in environment variables here. So three things, okay? Now what happens is when you fire up StarCraft and... Uh, if you have a overlay that shows you the API, like is included by default with AMD, uh, Adrenaline, which is like the, anyway, I don't know why it's not showing. Okay, it's showing now. So it shows that it's running in Vulkan. Normally it would show DX9. It's actually a really useful overlay with graphics API because I can play other games and find things like DX10. So that's that's how it works. And uh, I mean, the fucking main menu was stuck at like 40 FPS or 60 FPS at best. And it would start at really high FPS and then would just drop for no reason. 
now it's running fine. I think I might have a FPS limit around 120 because that's the refresh rate I'm running at. Because fucking nobody, everyone's still stuck at DisplayPort 2.1 and HDMI doesn't have as good uh, free sync. So I'll just do a game to show you. I'm running on max settings. There's some very rare, like I mean very very rare graphical glitches. Uh, but it just works. So I'm going to run a game on my potato account. So we're just going to... Actually, no, I can't because then you'll see my password. Whoops. Anyway, just trust me, bro, it works, okay? Uh, that's the end of the video. You know what I'm going to do for the rest of the video instead is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to... Try to get this working for, I think it was, dive. So we're going to try dive. I oh, know it was depth. I could have called it dive. Oh, well. So I opened the game. And then I figured that, you know, I would look at the API and I would do the same thing. You know, drop the direct... D9, uh, DLL. Uh, I think this step here should work for everything. I mean, it's just a config file and where it is. I'm going to add more shit here. I'm actually going to create a copy of it just in case. And we're going to kind of just copy this part. And we're going to... So here it's running in... DX9 too. Oh, so it should work. But it doesn't. I don't know why. I don't know why I try... I mean, maybe it uses a different... Uh, see, open file location. And I have the D3, D9, DLL here. It might be an anti-cheat feature. Or maybe it's using depth or no, but it's in the same folder. It should work. So yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work. Maybe there's a run in DX9 setting somewhere that I have on and we could use something else. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, well, imagine needing a Haki to spin 180. I'm just being an ass because I've waited years to get a 4K high refresh monitor and like the adoption was just really slow. Which wasn't entirely unreasonable, but the fact of the matter is people are just not interested. You know, and, and, and I, I saw this in, in the office work where people's eyes are just not as good as mine. Because I think when you go to optometrists, they measure the focus. They don't measure the resolution of your eye. <laughs> so, some people have terrible resolution. You know, if you have something worse, like you have a disability, it's the world isn't adapted to you. Well, if you have a super ability, it's not adapted either. Alright, so... I don't know why it's not working. I thought it was DX10 and then I needed to add something in the config file for DX10, but apparently not. Fucking end of the video.